All right, we are continuing. BS BSG3, gotta go fast. Up next is Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy, run by our very own Street Fighter player. Pray, uh, not streaming right now, so you're not gonna be able to find a, a, a Twitch channel for this guy, but nonetheless, you should really watch this because I've seen him train uh, in the practice room for this run and. It is worth checking out. He's going, uh, he's gonna go fast, he's gonna jump, he's gonna get bandage girl, and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And there's gonna be blood. Oh, you just, you just wait for the blood, people. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Rayman uh, was just an insert run, but it got a world record, so. But up next is Super Meat Boy by Prey, and I deliver you to him right now. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna count down and we'll start at zero, okay? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go! Okay, so because Prey actually wants to concentrate for this run, I'm gonna help him with commentary for as far as I can. Um, so to start off, these are just some very simple optimized jumps. It's gonna go left here because screw going around, this is just a long jump. Um, and what you're gonna notice quite soon is at a certain point, ooh, he just missed that. There's a pause buffer there where you can actually make the game jump for you frame perfectly. It basically matches jump every frame. Um, and you do it for a couple of reasons. You can do it to basically boost yourself upwards if you have two walls that are one block away from each other. Or in this case, he did it to do a frame perfect jump. Um, so you could get over consistently. Um, what you're also going to see is at a certain level, he's actually going to quit out and do a different level because that's faster. You only need to complete a certain a number of levels before you're able to go to the boss. And because he's doing any percent, he doesn't need to finish all of them. So he's actually going to do the fastest ones. That was a very nice small skip there. And this skip is way harder than it looks. And he just made it look pretty easy. Second try, but still, that skip is harder than it should be, honestly. Okay, so uh, basically he's just going to go fast and go buy saw blades. Here he quits out and goes to a different level because this one's faster. And generally just movement optimization is the game here. Another very small skip there where he keeps going right instead of going off to the left. Quick jumps. And we go back to the overworld to fight the boss here. This is just a run fast and wait for the boss to catch up to you because this boss is actually on the script. We has to get to the end before the level will actually clear, so... Yeah, basically, he's gonna have to wait at the end anyway, but... He can show up here and just wait. So here he's just waiting for the boss to catch up. Two fourteen there is a very reasonable split. That's pretty good. I mean, keeping in mind that even the world record of this doesn't have a deathless game, he's really gonna have to be conservative with his strats for this game because it's a marathon run. Fortunately, he died there, but yeah, that that's bound to happen. Unfortunately, here you can just drop down if you're fast enough. There you go. And this is where the cycles get introduced, where if you do a jump just a little bit off, your cycles will be completely screwed over. In these fans and um, stuff alike, like conveyor belts, you actually need to jump into them so you can actually uh, tra transfer your momentum of going upward into them. Otherwise, you're not going nearly as far. Here he goes outside of it to skip this fan completely. Normally, you'd need to walk back into it, but you don't in this case. Um, this is another one where cycles are very important. If you mess it up, you're gonna get screwed by those little slimes here. Very, very close jump there to the end. You would have died otherwise. And another very cycle-optimized jump there. 
this level is incredibly hard to optimize because, yeah, you have to, like, really compare safety to um, going fast there. And it's really hard to do it very fast. <laughs> wow. That was a very fast jump there. And here you can just stand on the end and keep running right, and it'll run into me grow as fast as possible. More cycles coming up. Nice. Another one of those fans where he has to go up there, so he has to just make enough height there. Did it. Falls right into the pit. Here's another small skip where you go on the outside rather than the inside. He was supposed to get more momentum off that jump, unfortunately it failed. So now he has to improvise on the cycles a bit. That worked out. So yeah, lasers. Ooh. Just barely missed the jump there. There we go. There's another big skip. This... Yeah, okay. He just about made it. Here's another pause buffer. Where you can basically go all the way up here by pausing and then holding jump. Which basically um, keeps spamming your jump every frame. Okay, so here's Chad. This is basically just go fast and pray the cycles don't mess you up. On the next floor here, he can actually do a cycle skip if he's fast enough. It's very hard though, so... No, that's not gonna make it. Nope. He's gonna have to wait the cycle out. So yeah, now he has to go to the right, get the key, get the key that drops on the left, and then he's done. There we go. And that's Chad. And that is chapter two. Chapter complete. So the salt factory, literally and figuratively. This is where things get interesting. That salt there, if you touch it, you die. So all those mountains you see up there, they insta-kill you. These fountains up there, they kill you. So yeah, conveyor belts into salt because, yeah, the game wasn't hard enough as it is. I mean, just barely missed the jump there. There we go. Very butt running. So these conveyor belts, you actually have to jump into them. You'll see him jump there. That's because he gets way more forward momentum. Normally you'd need to take the third conveyor belt up there, but you don't now because he jumped into it. This one as well. There we go. He's gonna catch on to the conveyor belts and just about fly over. Yeah, here you actually have to start managing rockets, which can be a lot more annoying. Yeah. I tried to trigger it, but couldn't get it too. <laughs> Very close. So in this case, you have to wait for those blocks to disappear. After you've touched them, they take a little while to fade out, so... That was pretty quick and painless, luckily. This is quite an annoying auto-scroller because you keep sliding down, but you can't go up far enough because of the saw blades. Another auto-scroller, in a sense, so... At least you don't have to go back around. <laughs> that would be painful. Okay, so in this one, he might be able to make a quick cycle. Should be fine, yeah. There we go. Yeah, optimize jumping in this case. Just keep holding right, go around, and get the meat girl. This level has a skip at the end, but it's really, really hard, and it's not marathon consistent at all, so he's just not gonna go for it. You can jump from the key up there all the way to meat girl, but it's basically impossible. This level is slightly RNG heavy because those rockets can actually make your blocks fade out as well. So if the rockets are mean, they're gonna kill you. In this case, he's gonna go right here, 
And he's gonna skip up to that block. You have one block's width to get onto that wall, otherwise you get out of the level. So that was very quick and painless, actually. And that skips the entire running around of like two minutes or something. So here comes hell. <laughs> These levels are probably the most fun in the run because they are challenging, but they're not quite as mean as they can be just yet. So again, overworld skipping certain levels because they're just too slow. Another auto-scroller. If you fail, fall down, you die. And here's more cycles. Pretty sure you can skip this one. So, more cycles. Gonna have to wait one cycle there because he just hit the wall. Unfortunate. This level casually is a hell to find out because of the cycles of those lava bubbles there. So yeah, very quick jump there. Get some up there. This is where portals get introduced. They don't get used too much, but... Ooh, just barely missed that jump there. It's quite a tight fit to get over those. There you go. More portals. You can skip them on the way back out by just get taking a long jump. Ooh. <laughs> So another quick say, uh, pause buffer there. There's a very small skip coming up here. If, as he's going up, he can stick to the left instead of going left, right, left. That's gonna save him a little bit of time there. There we go. Wow. <laughs> he was trying to skip the level there because this one's easier. Basically, he's going to trigger that lift, but because these black guys want to kill you, he's just going to wait outside and hit it as soon as it's down there. Here's Little Horn. He's going to stand just on a specific pixel. And now, except for jumping, he has to do absolutely nothing. There we go. Headbutt just misses him, and the fist just misses him as well. And fist slide. There we go. Another headbutt. More baby rage. And headbutt. And he's out of there. A boss that literally kills himself. Best boss. So Rapture, this is where actually this first level here is going to have a white light showing up here. This is actually the boss cutscene that was still trying to end there. So as soon as he loaded that level up, it was still trying to fade out the boss there because he skipped it. That's why the screen went completely white for a second there. That happens on chapter 6 as well, actually, so... You're gonna see it once more. During the run. 
So yeah, magna jumps. There we go. That jump again is way harder than it actually looks. This one's annoying because it it boosts you up basically as you're trying to go past some saw blades. It messes up more runs than you, you want to admit usually. Okay, so this is uh, the button tutorial level. It's pretty simple compared to the ones coming up in just a bit there. So here's a little skip he can do where instead of going up, he can actually go down and around. So yeah, the second key you're going to see drop just down here. If he misses it, he needs to reset the entire level because that key drops into the ground and it just disappears. So another level skip here because that level is slow as hell. And here the little monsters come up. These guys are very annoying to manipulate sometimes. Luckily Prey found a consistent strat for it doing that, but these guys turn into an issue in later levels. Like this one. Fortunately, you can just go under that saw blade and they will kill themselves. He has to wait for the key to show up, this one basically. And now he can go around it, but... Yeah, more of these guys. These ones are the worst ones in the entire of the run. There we go. He didn't get one to manipulate. So that's unfortunately what happens there. Okay. He needs the left one to come along as well. There we go. Now it should be fine. There we go. Frame perfect jump there. That's why he pause buffered. And he got the quick cycle as well. Nice. Cool. That jump is quite tight. He needs to get just on the top of it. And then get up here. There we go. So this is basically a semi-blind jump onto this platform here and then he glides all the way up here to the end to skip all the keys that you need to collect there. There we go. More rockets. These walls actually only explode if you get a rocket into them. So he's going to have to manipulate the rocket launcher to get into that wall, but just barely not kill him. So yeah, in this case, he has to hover and wait for those locks to disappear on their own. This is still one of the faster levels, unfortunately. Okay, so this is an RNG boss. There's one cycle at least. He needs three bosses to jump and kill themselves. That's two cycles already, unfortunately. That makes three. And four. Five. Eight is pretty average. There's six. Seven. Okay, please jump. Come on. Eight. And nine. You cannot speed this up anymore, unfortunately. Ten. Eleven. He was getting consistent eight cycles in practice just a bit ago. There we go. Well. RNG, the game. Uh, so yeah, the end. These are some of the worst levels in the entire game. There's another fade. And now it begins. 
So we're gonna do a very small and tight skip here. Just about doesn't make it. Second try? Yes, okay. There we go. Safe strats, unfortunately, are a thing here, but still, gotta go fast. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. It just didn't grab onto the wall. There we go. And this one, he has one quick cycle you can actually reach after the second saw blade. There we go. Yep, made it. And now it's just a jump to the end there. Gently is another one that's just a heavy cycle, basically. Just slides fast there. And again. <laughs> Fortunately, he's gonna have to wait here a bit because he messed up, but. There we go. Okay, so Mega. Some very tight jumps in this one. That one in particular. Run killer in most cases. Not today. There we go. And the end. In this case, he's actually gonna get ahead of the saw blades after the first little bit here. And what that's gonna allow him to do is completely just run through the level at its, at his own pace instead of um, waiting around to f for Fetus to catch up to him. He's gonna have to skip it here. There we go. Now he can actually run through it at its own pace. So now you'd be thinking, well, how is he gonna get those saw blades to not damage him at the end? Well, there's a nice little exploit in the game here where if you're standing on top of a button, those saw blades are not gonna kill you. But there's another thing. If he stands on the middle of that button there, Fetus is gonna shoot one more shot at him, and if he's in the middle there, he's gonna die because of splash damage. So that's why he's exactly on the right there, because otherwise he'd die anyways. There we go, so the saw blades are not even gonna hit him, and that would have splash killed him if he was in the middle of the button. So one more cycle level and we're out of here. Time is coming up pretty soon. Okay, just pulling up to the end here, and time. Well done, man. Nice. Thanks, man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for having me, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll come again soon. <laughs> sure. Oh. <laughs> so.